What's going on guys? Welcome to another Jumpstart gameplay and let's go ahead, jump in and see what we get. Uh, I'm really liking recording these. They're just super easy and super quick and I love that. Uh, let's do, let's do goblins. Let's be simple. I like goblins. Uh, goblins and what? Vampires, walls. I don't really know if I like well read or not with it. Um, what do you think? One, two or three. Let's, you know what? Let's try well read. We've done a lot of the walls. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one, I think. Let's just try it and see what happens. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, ooh, I really like curiosity, especially in a deck where we just get to max out on all of the things. I like that. Gadwick, I am in. Burnbright, great. Uh, very, very good in this deck. Uh, Capture Sphere, very good. Very nice. Krinko, so good. I absolutely love Krinko. Uh, Goblin Commando, also very nice. Goblin Rally, and Kraken. All right, well, let's see how we do. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, we've been doing a lot of Jumpstart gameplay, and it's super fun. It's a really easy thing to just sit down and, you know, you've got 20 minutes, you sit down and record a Jumpstart video. So um, I I know that uh, I mentioned a, maybe a day or two ago, I don't remember. Um, I am going to be out of town for a couple of days, uh, Thursday through Sunday, uh, which means there will be no gameplay on those days. Uh, just a heads up, but uh, interesting. Uh, let's try this. I'm not sure if this is good or not, um, but I uh, I did want to try at least and get some some recording in. I don't know if any of this is going to go up during that time or if I just put it up early or you know how I do that. So I'm recording this with no idea of when I'm actually going to put it up there, but um, I do want to want to try and get some of this out. Uh, that's great. Let's go ahead and do the instigator just to spread things out just a bit here um, And see how things things go. Uh, we can play curiosity if we need to nice um, Play lands Hmm In that case, uh, let's put this out there Now uh, we can just kill this, and I think I kind of want to. Uh, let's get some attacks in. Uh, what we really need is just one good turn to get curiosity on something important and then attack in. Um, and we'll see if we can get there. Uh, it's a very good card. Let's get that down. And let's do this. Chances are this is going to just get blocked, and that's totally fine. Um, but we'll see. Either way, we're going to draw a card, which I kind of like. Um, and we get rid of their threats, so that's fine. Well, there's the land we were missing. All right. Well, that was a bit of an aggressive play. Don't know if it was right. Eh, it's fine if it wasn't. Uh, land, great. Let's do this. Goblin rally for a butt ton. All right. Um... Capture Sphere is going to be pretty nice here when they do finally play some big thing. Uh, looks like definitely the high in the skies thing mixed with, what is this, uh, Chandra. That is difficult. Um, very difficult. Let's do this. Let's get that tap down. Uh, and let's get in for some attacks here. Uh, don't know if that's correct either. I don't know. We're learning. This is just a fun little format. I, I I was talking in the last Jumpstart video, I know, that the fun with this format is that you don't have to take it too seriously. You can kind of just try stuff, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't, and that's fine. Um, and I really enjoy that. I think that it just makes it really exciting and really fun. Um, that's pretty good. Let's get this down. We get to scry a couple. Hmm. Don't think I really love either of those. We need something a little more heavy hitting than that, which unfortunately we just don't have. But, um, hmm. Switch deals done on combat damage to an opponent. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to attack in here. They can kill one of these, but we're, we're getting them down then to a point where we can just kind of kill them in one swing. So I'd rather go ahead and get some attacks in. Um, we are the goblin deck. We're trying to attack every time. My assumption is they're either just going to deal with the, the Cloud Reader Sphinx or, you know, just try and swing in with a bunch of stuff, and in particular the Incinerator here. Such a good card. Such a good card. 
Um, yeah, wow. Very, very good. Um, and we'll see. I, I mean, no idea. Uh, but we do need to keep getting some damage in. Kind of wish, uh, to be honest, it's probably a mistake to... Uh, no, that hits target creature, right? And that would have been actually a bad hit for the incinerator, so I think we played okay there. Um, just getting this thing off the battlefield. The Cloud Reader Sphinx is a great, uh, not only blocker, but just aggressive card too, because it does it is able to just get in there on top of whatever the opponent's doing right now. Um, they have two twos, so they can just you know block it, but they'd uh, you know they'd have to lose some stuff in the process. So we'll see. Opponent kind of taking a little while here. A little surprising. Um, this does have trample. We can just make this unblockable too, which is worth noting. I mean, uh, that does give us lethal next turn, which is nice. Okay. That is so good. Um, yeah, dude, you got it. We no longer have lethal. Um, that was just super well done on the opponent's side. I was going to say, I don't know that you should attack with these two. <laughs> okay, I guess they are. Um, well, I guess they want to to draw the card. Um, we will take a block on one of them. Uh, and I guess we can just make it un unblockable next turn, but maybe they have a way to kill this as well. Shock it. Yeah. Alright, fair enough. Man, this just makes the math so much more tricky. Um, I think we just lose, though, right? Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and concede here. Um, there's not really a way we can block these two, so that's four guaranteed damage. And then anything they can do with the uh, incinerator there just makes it a little tricky. So let's go ahead and jump into game two. Um, also mentioned it in the last Jumpstart video, if uh, if you have any suggestion for like different content ideas or anything like that that you'd like to see, maybe you've seen other YouTube channels do it, or you have an idea for content that you just don't see enough of, um, please let us know. Like We're super open to, to kind of trying some different things here, and if, if there's something that we can be better doing, I love this because of curiosity, but I don't think we can keep... Um, then we're we're very very open to that so please keep that in mind um and let us know if there is anything that you feel we could be better doing or or some content that you would really enjoy seeing uh of course now we draw the uh, goblin arsonist but that's fine let's go ahead and be mana efficient and get the ruined servitor servitor down uh okay let's attack in first <laughs> So they have a, I was going to say, do they have anything that they're doing? Get a goblin out and get an arsonist out. All right. Cool. See what they do. Uh, next turn, depending on what we draw, uh, we could just burn bright. I don't really know that that's the right play or not, but um, to be honest, it probably isn't. Uh, but we do have just like, you know, any attack here is, like, not bad because we do trade off with the Visionary. Uh, let's see. I think because we have Goblin Rally in our hand, we wait on the, uh, the Burn Bright. But we are short on land here, and that kind of puts a damper on things. If we do get a land, uh, this is obviously going to be amazing. Um, just because it's also a flyer above, you know, these visionaries and things like that. This is going to be able to fly through and get some damage in. But more importantly, um, anytime we draw a card, it just gets bigger. So it puts a really nice clock on the game. Death touch, huh? That's pretty good. And still nothing. Um, let's attack in. I'm fine with this. If they want to, however they want to do this, we can figure it out. Um... We could technically just kind of start sweeping what they do, which is kind of nice. That's it. I'm just going to burn bright. Screw it. We could have just... It probably was worth it not to, but it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll figure it out. Out in number. Very good card right here, actually. Uh, still need a land, though. Not going to lie. <laughs> That's like our biggest drawback here. 
against these green decks, I find it best, um, especially when you've got like a goblin deck like this, to really just try and beat face as quickly as you can. That's kind of just a general rule. But um, that definitely seems like the best way to go because there are so many just strong kind of mid-range or late game um, uh, cards that they've got. So we really just have to get in for as much as we can as soon as we can. Unfortunately, we are just getting very unlucky here, uh, to be honest. Let's do that. Um, hmm. So we do get to attack in here, which is worth noting. And then we'll figure out exactly how we want to deal this damage out. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Let's kill this. Uh, this is going to then clear this out of the way. Um, so we do get to kind of clear most of what they've got going on here, uh, which is nice, but they've still got a ton of mana where we have three. <laughs> um, so that's pretty unfortunate. Uh, and now we can't really comfortably just play this uh, into it because, you know, chances are they just are able to snipe this down. They've got all the mana they need to do it. Um, so... Goodness gracious, we are just not getting there. Um, this is just kind of mana-screwed unluckiness, I think, but that's fine. I'm just surprised we're doing this well, to be honest. I thought we would have been dead by now against a green deck. <laughs> sure. Yep. They do have to be careful. I mean, we do have stuff on the field, but... I think they've got uh, all they need. Oh, look, a land. That's very late, but that's fine. Um, let's play this down. I am going to attack with this because they do have to double block if they want to do anything about it. Um, that's fine. Ugh. Yeah. These are so good. That is insane. Um... All right, fair enough. Mm-mm, not doing so great, guys. <clears throat> There's a land. Um, hmm. I'm going to attack in here with this. They can spit out two more of these guys and trade, triple trade it, and that's totally fine by me. Um, this isn't going to do too much for us anyway, I don't think. Late game. <clears throat> it's fine. Uh, we're going to have to start clearing these tokens out at some point, and now we Goblin Rally. Get a bunch of little 4-4s. Four Alright. Next turn. No idea what we're going to do, but we'll figure it out. Wow, and they have the mana for this. That's pretty good. Land. Okay. Uh, let's get this in there then I think here we hold off so in this instance next turn we might be able to tap something down here <clears throat> they've just got the ability to spit out so many things every turn the fact that this doesn't cost mana to activate and you just get a free creature is very high value in this certain circumstance I will say uh, auto pay that's fine Let's tap you down. Take action. Yes, please. Um, still hesitate to play this without being able to just draw a card. That's kind of my frustration there. <coughs> um, screw it. <laughs> um, max, they can block four things, right? So this is probably going to have to be blocked. It definitely has to be blocked. They get to pick off a bunch of tokens. Sure. So we get three damage in. And deal with one of their tokens. Two of them technically, but you know my the, the idea here. Oh, that's target creature? What? I thought that... I misread that card. I misread it so bad. I thought, wow, that card is so good. That's target creature, not just... Wow. Guys, I'm dumb. Freely admit it. I'm dumb. Uh, yep. Do it. 
Uh, that was stupid. I thought that this only worked on itself. Um, not on any creature. <laughs> so, my bad. Uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna die here. We also probably have a lot of lands coming. Yeah, I'm gonna concede. Whew, that was bad. That was real bad. <clears throat> Alright, well. Uh, was that the second game? Yes, it was. Let's go to our third game. This is going very well. Uh, wow, that was dumb. That was really dumb. My bad. Uh, all right, last game. Let's see what we can do. Uh, hopefully, we can get at least one win. I, I, uh, I've had the or I've had a few people comment and say like they've had kind of the same luck that we're having now, and that um, sometimes you really get there and sometimes you don't, and it seems a bit skewed. Uh, I don't necessarily think it's super skewed in any one direction or the other. I think, you know, it's. These are fairly well balanced, is what I will say. From my from looking at the cards, they seem fairly well balanced, and from playing it, they seem fairly well balanced. It's all about how you play it, and and the combination of uh, of the two th uh, packs that you get, um, or that you choose, I should say, um, because the reality is some packs are better together than some others, and that's just how it's always going to be. Because um, you know this is a a format where you kind of have to figure out where the shortcomings of the deck are going to be and then try and fill that out with whatever you do the next time or uh, whatever you pack whatever the second pack you pick is um sometimes that's easy to figure out and sometimes it's just not and that's okay um doesn't need to be you know perfect but uh let's see hmm Let's see what we want to do. I think we'll just play the wall. Uh, and we'll pass here. Uh, no need to attack in here. Next turn, <clears throat> we can um, drop a couple of things, which is kind of nice. We do have the uh, the makeshift mutition, mun munitions. I can say that. Um, so we might actually just be able to start pinging stuff out of the air, which is kind of nice. Let's do... Whoops. Wrong. Wrong. Let's do this. Uh, whoops, nope. Let's get this out of there. I'm going to be fairly aggressive with these, I think. Um, and we'll pass. Just keeps flyers off of our back, uh, which is really, really important, I think, for this deck. Um, because we have, like, none. <laughs> uh, to be brutally honest. Um,. All right, uh, let's see. Let's get land down. Red, that's fine. Hmm. I'm going to go for the double play, opting against the library larcenist. Just make it so this can't block, and then we can just attack him for one. Not amazing, but it's a, it's a play. Uh, let's see. Oh, they've got a thing to play. Oh, duh. <laughs> that was stupid. Sure. I'm gonna oops it. That was just an oops. I misplay a lot. I take this format very loosely, uh, which is probably incorrect, but that's fine. It's fine. As long as you have fun. That's what matters. Especially with this kind of format. This is all about just, like, having a good time, I think. Um... Hmm. Let's put this out there. Let's do this. Let's see what they do. Okay. Um... Yeah, we'll pass. Uh, I like this uh, munition here just because it means no matter what they play, they do have to worry about the fact that we can just start shooting things. Um, granted, it's very inefficient for us to do so, but it is a possibility, so they do have to be cautious of that. Uh, this is very nice because we can make this unblockable and then start attacking in uh, to draw some cards specifically and hopefully refill a good bit get to the point where we can actually do some more stuff They're, they've been stuck on lands they've been pretty unlucky um, uh, 
wait cancel that was dumb this targeting this sacrificing this there we go Cranko, well, yes, please. Um, I think we just play Cranko. <laughs> this is just good. Um, I'm gonna do this. Let's see what they do. I doubt they block, but maybe they do. I don't really care about this because, like, one, if they're gonna kill this, we're not gonna get to activate it anyway, and two. Um, if they don't kill it, this still just exponentially grows, so it's like it's fine either way. Um, would be would it be great to have had that goblin around, but I think we just need to uh, get some stuff off the field too. Whoo, that's good. Okay, well, hey, that's a problem. Uh, we do have capture sphere actually, so it's not really as big a deal as it seems. Um, wish we could play that this turn but we just can't we have to do this uh let's pass all right see what they do this plus this is like stupid good as assum assuming it can stick out for a while uh which is potentially a problem okay that's very good oops i should have that was a mistake nope back 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 oh they did not attack okay that was risk that was very risky <laughs> i did not like that mistakes were made it's fine um all right <laughs> uh let's play you i'm just gonna attack for one uh i think we just leave krinko up and some munitions here um and we'll see what we can do very good. Yeah. You got it. That's super good. Doesn't have a lifelink, though, which is pretty important. Um, we're about to get a lot of extra goblins. Assuming they don't have an answer for Krinko, which it seems as though they do not. Yeah. Let's Krinko. Let's do it. Krinko is stupid good, guys. Oh, mean. So mean. Um, cancel. I think we actually just let that happen. So we actually just want the 4 4 angel. <clears throat> um, yeah, my turn. All right. So we can do this and just deal two. That doesn't seem great. Or we can just do this. Uh, we could also just attack with this and see what they do. Kind of like that plan. Uh, this also is unblockable, essentially, so let's see what they do. I'm happy to sacrifice some creatures here if we need to. Uh, we actually don't even have to. Goblin Commando comes down and does that as well. Uh, or do we want to get this down is the question. Uh, we'll see. Do we want to get this down or do we want to get this down? I think let's take the opportunity and kill a thing. <clears throat> and then we pass. All right, let's see what they do. They're down to one card in hand. Granted, so are we. Um, but they do have this idol that they can activate at any time, so we do have to keep that in mind. I definitely did not last turn, but that's fine. Uh, let's get this down. <clears throat> make this unblockable this they can't block anyway uh even with the idol they can't block it so not worried about it all right see what they do i have hope maybe it's false hope but i have hope <coughs> oh well that was clever Nice, dude. That was a cool play. Fair enough. Wow. Okay. That was a heck of a play. Just giving it pro a color. Um, yeah, I think we take it. There's nothing we can do to 
to do anything about that, I don't think. Um, hmm. Did we just lose? Guys, we had a high, such high hopes. <laughs> uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can't even kill it. <sighs> Guys, we lost, I think. I mean, we pass. We could make something unblockable and attack him, but there's just no real need to. That was such a good play. My goodness. Feet of resistance. Just gains protection. It loses it. So so clean. So elegant. Um, yeah. Oops. Let's do that. We'll take the five. See what happens. I there's no way I think we can get out of this though. Like that was that was it. We could start shooting some stuff down, but oh, guys, that was terrible. We did awful. That's fine. Uh, that was kind of a fun little like uh, match though or uh, game. That was a really cool one actually, where we get to we got to activate Krinko a couple times, and they just had such a good one. Oh. Well done. Well done, opponent. That was fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, if you did, of course, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. We'd certainly appreciate it. And uh, don't forget, uh, if the JDC episode is already up, that is going to be the last one for just a little while. Uh, but do check that one out. I think it's going to be a really fun one. We haven't recorded it yet, so I'm hoping it was good. <laughs> um, but I, I really, really enjoy that series. I hope you guys do too. And uh, without further ado, I think I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next Jumpstart video.